Jordan. Casper! Thank you very much. Thank you. I used to, uh, I used to have a giant gross beard. Thank you. And, uh, it was, it was huge. I had, I'm talking like a year-long, formidable, gnarly beard. And, uh, and I got rid of it recently, and I think it's because I thought about it, and if I'm honest to myself, I think the reason I grew a giant, gnarly beard was that it was easier than developing a personality. <laughs> And it worked. I don't have to be sad about it. It worked. It's like, have you ever seen a guy wearing like eyeliner? You're like, that's dumb. That's stupid. And he walks away and you're like, it does look pretty good. It's <laughs> pretty good, actually. I just think it's weird that we're like this far in the future and that much hair still comes out of a face. You know what I mean? Like, we've evolved to the point where I can watch a movie on one screen and at the same time use another screen to see how tall everyone is in that movie. <laughs> Something I do a lot. <laughs> at the same time, there's a welcomes mat worth the pair coming out of my face. It's gross. When will that catch up? That's what I'm I think it's just different now because having a beard is a choice. It's a choice you're making, you know? Like, way back when, 100 years ago, whatever, you didn't have time to shave, you were busy. You're dealing with things like the Dust Bowl or wolves. You're slammed. 2018, less dust, fewer wolves. You know, if you know, you show me like a giant black and white picture, uh, like an old timey photo of some dude with a big gnarly beard from like here up, right? I'm assuming waist down, he's on a horse, head in the back, doing some beard stuff, right? Uh, but you showed me that same beard on that same guy today, and I think, oh, he probably ruins parties with sad songs. <laughs> you brought your own guitar? <laughs> what a treat! <laughs> oh, hot dog! That's great. I just, I think the main reason I had to get rid of it was that. I couldn't do the things my beard implied I could do. You know, like, my beard was talking the talk. Right? And I think that's common. I think there are a lot of folks you see out there with deceiving beards. Which is why we need a new standard. A new rule, even. And I think that is, that if you're growing a beard, no matter who you are, man, woman, child, does not matter. If you're growing a beard, you must, once a month, attend a beard certification class. Where you just show up and you do the things your face says you can do. I think that's fair, right? Like, month number one, you do easy, one-month beard things. Uh, you have to do 12 push-ups. And then you have to decide confidently where six people will have brunch. You don't even flinch with that sexy-ass brunch beard. It's your responsibility now. Uh, month number two, beard's a little bit bigger, so are the responsibilities. Uh, you have to build a fire with your bare hands, uh, and then explain sex to your 12-year-old son. If you don't have a child, I'm sure we can work something out. That sounds terrible. Out of context, that's that, never mind. That sounds terrible. Sorry. Uh, by the time your beard hits here, you have to know magic. I think that's fair. Is there anything worse than some dude with a gnarly old wizard beard who doesn't know one spell? One spell. He's had years. I'm just saying, beard here, fire with your hands. Beard here, fire with your mind. That's fair. That's fair. I realized about a week ago that I say brunch beard in that last bit, and it is my favorite new person to think about. <laughs> Brunch beard. <laughs> Ravaging the high seas with a graphic design degree. <laughs> Brunch, the legend of Brunch beard. Take him home, your parents will like him. <laughs> Brunch beard. There was a, there was a breaking point. <laughs> there was like a moment, I know I had to get rid of it. And uh, that was when I went out to eat with my girlfriend, her friend, and her friend's husband. And already, like, I was a little intimidated, right? Because I was, like, the boyfriend 
And this guy is the husband. Right? You know, like, I was... I was the boyfriend. Uh, and this guy was... Uh, right? <laughs> It just got worse. His name was Mike. Solid, probably Christian name. Who knows? And he was just such a husband, you know? He had like a big neck. <laughs> Solid marriage material. And then we shook hands, though. And that's where it all fell apart. We shook hands. And what he said was, Jordan. Hi, I'm Mike. And uh, what I tried to say was, Mike, I'm Jordan. Just like I have a hearse, right? Uh, <laughs> But the problem was that Mike was too strong. Uh, so what came out was, Mike, hey, I'm Joe Gordon. <laughs> uh, so I did what I thought was most reasonable, and I shaved off my beard. <laughs> and I mailed it to him, along with a $30 Home Depot gift card. I thought he'd like that. Too. Thanks, y'all. Have a good night.